Hi everyone! In this episode of Building Vilda, we are going to show you how to lay glass on the pointy bows. If you remember, in a previous episode, we have done the extension of the bows. We have sanded and fared and sanded some more and fared some more. And now the bows are ready for glassing. So this is what we're going to share with you in this episode. My heart condition nearly critical You make me stronger than I've ever been before But I'm so weak and the knees fall into the floor Afraid I lose myself deep in your eyes And all at once I'm found and recognized Uh oh, you caught me, honey, unbelievable Now that you got me, oh, it's unmistakable I have just cut all the glass we need and we have sanded down, Roxanne has sanded down all our little patches and we've cleaned off with acetone and we are getting ready to glass the bows. the last piece of glass that goes on the hull. Well, not quite. Not quite. <laughs> there will be a little more glassing for windows and uh, or portholes and hatches and such, but the holes or sorry, the hulls will be complete. We managed to get some uh, glass on the bows today. We got one layer on 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 both bows, and uh, after laying those two layers, we figured, oh, it's too risky, and it's going to turn out not so nice if we do uh, the second layer. So we're giving it a break. Put some peel ply on and. We'll uh, sand down the, f the spots that need sanding tomorrow and get, a, get the final layers on as well. But looking real good, looking real good. Abandons me when nights died out What can I do? 
you. <laughs> We just put the last pieces of glass on the bows. There's a hell of a lot of glass here now. They're overlapping layers. Uh, so on each side, there's four layers of glass, plus an additional layer around the front end and more at the water line so this was very sturdy with just the one layer of glass now it's rock solid it won't be going anywhere <laughs> but it is a sacrificial piece of boat <laughs> so, so yeah i hope it doesn't rip the rest of the boat off <laughs> It's, it's solid. Uh, I'm no longer concerned about the movement sideways of this uh, very thin piece of boat. Uh, not at all. And uh, yeah. People talk a lot about buoyancy forward. And this is not where you need it. So this is pointy to cut waves. You have the buoyancy up here and the more you get pressed down the more buoyancy you get bigger waterline area the more you get pressed down that's what you want and uh, that's what this boat has that's what the chamfer panels are for that's what the v hull is for narrow entry and then a quickly increasing st stability as the boat leans over. Ah, nice shape, beautiful shape. Oh, oh.